22 Feb here, Friday, at the European Open. A uh, little preview here on what, uh, what we think is going to happen today. Let's start with uh, equities. Bearish engulfed on uh, Thursday there, but we didn't quite close where we, you know, it was kind of a... Could have been a more bearish close. Let's uh, let's just put it that way. It closed at 74. It would have been nice to close below 70. We did print a 64 to quarter low, which also engulfed the Doji day on Tuesday. Uh, so this is our next sort of line in the sand. This 2763. I don't think this is going to run away uh, on some like uh, crazy down move. You want to be core short. Selling high ones looks like looks like the way. So we're gonna we're gonna sell stuff in the 80s today, 2780 to 2790. Try and continue to be core short uh, and move forward with that strategy in ES. Let's talk about euro numbers. I guess they were marginally bad yesterday, and I guess we were expecting very bad yesterday. Um, you can see we've basically done two indecisive days here in a row and 113.20 uh, is now kind of the bull bear point you can get bearish this stuff below 20 uh, until then you just want to wait there are some reasons to buy euro uh, if the numbers continue to disappoint in a less disappointing fashion uh, this could take the euro higher we're on the uh, bear trend. We're on the bear side of this. Uh, actually, no, I would say we're ambivalent. Uh, it's not clear where Euro is going to go. What is clear to me is that there will be stops below 113.20. Uh, just like you can imagine now, there's also stops above 113.70. So between 20 and 70, there's really no point in, in having a position. Um, and you just kind of have to wait to see how this thing... This thing... Uh, works its way through euro yen almost bearish well not really bearish engulfing but we, we printed the um, the key 125.33 so now we have one low at 34 one low at 34 one low at 33 one low at 35 um, so this is coincides with the uh, 20 level in euro 125.33 key point in euro yen. We saw Boone's tick below 166 handle yesterday. First time that's happened in a while. Um, but they really couldn't sustain that, so Boone's are still dancing uh, at the top of this recent range. It's interesting now, one. Uh, 165.86, triple bottom there. So if you see Boons get through 86, uh, which we don't expect today, with this sort of risk-off feel of things right now, um, you might want to be careful with your yen shorts. But we're going to stick with yesterday's painstakingly slow strategy of selling high ones in, in your yen. It paid in the end. Uh, we had a high of 87, then we had a high of 74. Boy, it was a painful, painful strategy, slow and, and painful. Anyway, uh, keep your eye on this level on the Boons 163, 165.86. What else is out there? Lots of news in Sterling. Good news, bad news, good news, bad news. You can see what this means on uh, the four hourly chart. On the hourly chart, it's kind of the same. I kind of expect this to. To ping lower today, I have no idea why. It just feels like there's no way they're gonna have any good news, and then going into the weekend there'll be some worries, um, which would be kind of standard FX procedure. There will be some longs hanging around from uh, the Monday move, so risk is probably in the downside in cable. I would just recommend not trading it. It's, you know, it's not super, the setup's not so clear. 
just avoid it. Aussie uh, on the coal news were lower. We, we couldn't really get any follow through down there from 70 70. Um, I mean, I still, based on this massive bearish engulfing, it's it, technically it's just it's quite simply a sell, sell and rally. But patience, probably, you know. 71.40 is kind of your, your point. This was the 71.40 level here. Once we broke through that, we never got back to a 31 the high after that. Now we've had 18 highs. Um, so selling rallies in Aussie looks okay, especially with risk under pressure. And finally, let's talk about dollar CAD. Uh, Polets didn't really say too much yesterday, although dollar CAD did get whacked by the algorithms uh, on the release of the speech. As you can see, this bar here all the way down to uh, 131.60, and then straight back to where it was, and then it kind of cruised higher. Um, this 131.60 level now is super important. Uh, obviously, it looks like some sort of real money bid down there, but not really in play today. Just pointing out um, dollar CAD 131.60 level probably for next week. Uh, overall, it looks like dollar CAD is bid. Um, but again, no uh, no dog in this fight. Here's a line everyone's going to be drawing now. So people will consider this some sort of head and shouldery thing. And so on the top side, which again is too far away to care about today, but 133.15. Something to keep in mind. Gold's turned lower. It's off 20 bucks from FOMC minutes. Not much else to say, really. Uh, our focus will be on these euro and euro yen levels, and we'll be selling high ones in Aussie. Good luck today, people. Make some dough. Talk to you on Monday.